storage and shelf life of a product. Now, a normal shelf life of a product should not go over six months. And what I mean is when you manufacture a candle or lotion or shampoo, you're really looking at it to be used in a six month window. Can a fragrance last longer than that? Absolutely. But it also depends on what type of fragrance. If you're having something more of a citrus or something that actually is more of a grape, those are going to react. So a citrus product turns rancid. The odor starts to become a problem after six months. If you have florals, and a floral being a lilac, um, something in that nature, honeysuckle, those have reactive ingredients inside of them. And because it reacts, it's going to start turning darker and darker yellow. That yellow will actually turn into an orange's color, and then it almost turns brown. So florals, not going to last longer than six months. And that's going to be color. Okay, the other ones that are going to be a problem are grape fragrances. And the reason why they have an ingredient inside them called methylenthranolate, that methylenthranolate is what gives it that grape note and that nice sweetness behind it. Um, but what happens is that darkens also. So this will actually turn into a dark brown very quickly. So those you're only going to get six months. The other ones that you have to worry about are vanilla fragrances. Ones that when you smell them, you know, a buttercream, a cupcake, those types of things, those are going to darken also. Those are going to turn a brown. So let's just say anything with vanillin at a high percentage. So just like the soapers have a problem with vanillin, that at a heavy percentage in a fragrance, it's going to be a six month and it's going to be a color issue also. So citruses, it's going to be an odor change. Floral, it's going to go a dark yellow, almost to an orange, which is going to be a color problem. Grape is going to go yellow, which is going to go into a brown. Vanillin, vanillas, that's six months, same thing. They're going to darken and they're going to come a problem. Um, air freshener types, those will usually last longer, so you won't have any problems. But the ones that you will have problems with are these four categories. So as you're looking at the shelf life and storage, you also want to look at where they're kept. If a fragrance gets too hot, it causes the reaction to happen, happen faster, and you're going to have more problems. If the fragrance is going to be left in a cold area, you're going to have a problem with fallout. So if a fragrance freezes, right, so that's anything lower than about 65 degrees, it's going to start having its own issues. Powders will fall out. You'll start getting crystals in the bottom. That's where they say it's like sugars in the bottom of the batch. That's actually the fragrance itself falling apart. So fragrances want to be kept at, at room temperatures. And as you can see in this library, we keep all of ours in amber bottles. The fuller they are, no headspace. Headspace will cause a rancid odor to happen in the fragrances. So this bottle to the top, Room temperature is the best way to store fragrance, and this can stay good for 12 to 18 months because it's kept at room temp under proper storage conditions. Now, light, UV, that also affects your fragrance. So if you're bottling the product in a clear bottle and you're putting it on the shelf, it's going to start turning yellow because of ultraviolet. So these are all things to come in mind when you're looking at your product. Best thing to do is a shelf test. Make a candle, make your lotion, Keep it out on the counter for six months. See what it looks like. Because in six months, that's what it's going to look like on the store shelves. So shelf life of fragrances, very important. Shelf life of your product, even more important. Um, usually buy what you need for that batch or that month, and then reorder the next month. I mean, we have customers that order every two weeks. Um, it just depends on what your workload is. But fragrances long term, you do not want to keep a fragrance for 12 months and then think that it's still going to be usable. Uh, six months is a really good win.